question on the table is, is a quarter of a million years a big deal for this sample? You change that number by 10% and you change the age by a quarter million. Do you care? Do you worry about that change? What are you going to tell me about that? I care about it. Okay, now quantify. Why do you care about it? Because it's a quarter of a million years. <laughs> What's the uncertainty in your age measurement? So if you have a precision of a tenth of a million years and you can change the age by a quarter of a million years, is that a big deal? Yeah. 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 So, you know, so this this number for this this horn blend, I guess it is, is an important number. Um, hopefully we can measure it to better than ten percent, and we can. Um, but so those are the things we want to rec you want to recognize in your in your numbers as you go through this exercise when you're going to write a brief paragraph or two about what the importance of these parameters are. Because it's, it's, it's one thing to say, yeah, a quarter million years is important, but I want you to go, because... <laughs> yeah. A lot can happen on a volcano. Yeah. So, um, so, but if the uncertainty was a million years, you might not be too concerned about the accuracy of that result. But we always want to get our correction factors as accurate as possible. Did the did the uncertainty change when you changed that uh, correction factor? They haven't got that far. Maybe. Has anybody calculated percent error change yet? Well, it's negative because the because rounded value that you put in is the absolute value of percent. You can you can unround that value again. Like, oh, feel free. Do you round it? I think you just it in. Did it did it change at all when you changed that uncertainty? That's a good question. This. No, it, he's got that. No, it didn't. Yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't really expect it to. Even though it does change when you change the J, J value, because it scales with the J value. So anyway, there's two methods that you have to deal with. The edit method, right? We're going to change backgrounds, J's, and discriminations, and the correction factors, where you're going to use the edit irradiation data. And try not to make two corrections at once. <laughs> you know, you're going to change the 3639 and, or sorry, the 3637 and the 3937. If you separate them, as Mike Timmons on the river would say, separate your functions, right? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who've been on the Grand Canyon, you would know 